all aboard the Party Tales train. Because this is our review of Ticket to Ride. Choo choo! Ticket to Ride is a route building car drafting game where your ultimate goal is to connect two destinations with your train routes. The Ticket to Ride game board is a map of the US. Each player starts off with two destination ticket cards that has two cities on it that you must connect with your train routes over the course of the game. The other players won't know your destination card, so it's best for you to hurry up and get those routes and connect what you need to. On your turn, you have three options. You can pick a train card, you can pick another destination ticket card, or you can play a route if you have the right train cards. The train cards are different colors to signify the different routes that you can build. The game ends when one player gets down to zero, one, or two train cars left in their supply. At the end of the game, you add up all the points from the routes that you built, plus the points that your hidden destination tickets have that you completed. And the winner is the player with the most points. Everyone always says that it's a good starter game for anyone getting in the board games. So it's kind of funny that we never did play it <laughs> in the whole time that we've been playing games. I don't know. It just never really came up until we played it. Yeah, I, I can't really explain what it was, but I remember every time we go in and it's like, oh yeah, everyone talks about that. So let's get this one. <laughs> <laughs> the artwork on the box is fun. However, when you open the game, you see there's really not a whole lot to it. It's just the ticket cards and the map. That's really the only artwork because then the rest you have little pieces that are your trains. The theme of games I kind of look at more. I mean, I'm not a big train fanatic, but I will say playing the game, it made me made me a little bit more interested. It, it, it is fun. You know, all the mechanics that they threw in there did make it more, but I'm in no way a, a train enthusiast now. We kept putting it off for so long, but now that we've actually played it, what do you think? I like it. It's got replayability. It's not too complicated. It can be just like a, a quick intro to maybe a, a more complicated game that you're going to play later on in the night, or, you know, if you just wanted to play a semi-quick-ish. <laughs> game would probably be a good choice. I don't know why it took us so long to actually get into it other than what we discussed, the artwork or the theming, maybe it didn't capture us right away. But now that we've actually played it, I'm glad we have. I kind of wish we would have played it earlier because it is a good introduction game. I felt like as we were playing this, I was missing something almost. If we had played this first, I would have been like, oh, okay, it's a good building. And now let's try something a little more difficult. The first time that I played, I went in with the strategy of, I'm just gonna achieve all of my routes as soon as possible. And then after that, just do whatever. But then I realized that that was wasn't really a good strategy to get a lot of points while you're playing. So as we play it a couple more times, I started to tweak my strategy and I started to see that there actually is a lot more to the game than what there is when you first lay it out just on its surface. So the strategy is definitely important, but it's not very important. I mean, Teresa, it was kind of a new, you know, first time playing for her and she still, I think she beat me in points. So it's, you can still go with the normal, okay, have route, build route, Calculate points. So like <laughs> Just if you look at the back of the box, you know that you're building rounds. It's also card drafting because you lay out the train cards and then each player when on your turn, if you're going to choose train cards, you can either pick two from the cards that are revealed or two random ones. It's not all luck of the draw because there are five options for you to choose from. However, if you don't like any of the options that are revealed to you, you can press your luck and draw two from the deck. You know, once you get your ticket destination cards and you can see, then you're like, but then I'm thinking to myself in my head, like, no, no, don't look at it. Everyone will know. So it's like, <laughs> I saw your eyes. You're going to New York. <laughs> yeah. You're going to LA, aren't you? It's like, no, no, no. And then as people start building their own routes too, you can just kind of like, uh, uh, don't, don't do it. <laughs> like, don't get that one. <laughs> as the game goes on and routes are being played, you can kind of start to see which destination ticket cards that people have and start to figure out a strategy. Oh, maybe I can block this person and they won't be able to finish their card. So you can track around the board how many points someone has. So you can kind of get a fair assessment of where everyone is. I knew I was dead last. So at one point when we were playing, it was like, all right, well, I'm not gonna win, but let's see how, <laughs> let's make things interesting. <laughs> and then so we started, I started trying to sabotage other players. So that, that was fun for me, even though I knew I wasn't gonna win. Overall, I'd say I give Ticket to Ride a seven. I like the pieces, they're simple, the cards, simple, rules, you know, not too complicated and setup doesn't take too long too. And overall, it's good game.
I'm gonna give Ticket to Ride a seven. It's only missing a few things here and there, which is why it doesn't get a little bit higher, but it's still a fun game, a good game for beginners, a good game, a good light game for uh, more experienced players. So it gets a seven. And Teresa gives it a 10. And Juliana gives it a eight. And that was our review of Ticket to Ride. What'd you think? Are you gonna be a new train enthusiast now? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny. Choo-choo!